Still with a medical beat and a new effort to increase organ donation in this country. At a time when the desperate demand for organs exceeds by far the number of people who are giving the gift of life. Aaron Saltzman has more on that. It starts here with a small community fundraiser, the kickoff of a campaign with a big ambition. We got to get every Canadian to become an organ donor and get Canada to the top when it comes to organ donations instead of the bottom where, we're, where we are presently. Canada has one of the lowest organ donation rates in the industrialized world. Fewer than 14 donors per million. Compare that with, say, Spain at 31 donors per million. No one seems to know why Canada's at the bottom of this scale, but the human cost is very easy to see. Right now, more than 3,700 Canadians are waiting for transplants. Worn out faces. Last year, 147 people across this country died while waiting for organs. This year, a new tactic to try to change that. Today, we are hoping to bring Victor's spirit back. Invoking the name of a Canadian sports hero. Victor Davis, world record holder and multiple Olympic medalist. In 1989, the swimmer was run down by a car and killed. Davis's family donated his organs. I found out recently that one of the recipients of some of Victor's organs lived for, for 17 years. 17 years. Can you believe that? Um, this man got to see his, uh, his grandchildren grow up. You know, he got to see uh, 6,000 more sunsets. How do you put a price on that? Easy to see, then, why the Davis family is lending Victor's name to this year's organ donation campaign. Another person with a close connection to this cause, Ojo Tewabadi. The Toronto police officer's daughter needs a kidney transplant. Tewabadi is donating one of his. If I have to do both my kidneys, I will. Oh, yeah, for my daughter. Actually, my brother, my sister, and my dad were all compatible, but my dad insisted <laughs> that it had to be him who did it. She's lucky in one sense. Living donors aren't an option for most who need organs. They have to rely instead on strangers, the frustratingly small number of people who explicitly agree to donate their organs. The number of people at this little community fundraiser hope will soon start to grow. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto.